This video is to show you how to do a thermochemistry calorimetry problem where we are looking for the specific heat of a metal given information about both the metal and the water that it's contained in but not complete information about either one. So what we need to do first is pull out all of our variables. We have a question that reads that a piece of metal with a mass of 6.88 grams decreases its temperature from 100 to 50 degrees Celsius when placed into 15 grams of water at 40 degrees Celsius. What is the specific heat of the metal? So in this problem we're given two sets of information. We're given information about our metal and we're given information about our water. We know this is a problem where we have Q equals MC delta T. And so we're going to need that information for all of these different things. So for our metal, Q M, C, delta T, which remember is T final minus T initial. And then same thing for my water. I have Q, M, C, delta T, which is T final minus T initial. So I go back to my problem, I read that I have a metal with a mass of 6.88 grams. So that is my mass of my metal. It decreases its temperature from 100 to 50 degrees, so my T final is 50, my T initial is 100. 50 minus 100 gives me negative 50 degrees Celsius for my change in temperature. I am told that it's placed into 15 grams of water, so that's my mass of my water. And my water ends or my water starts at 40 degrees Celsius. That's my initial temperature of my water. My T final for both of my metal and my water needs to be the same. So therefore my T final for my water is also 50 degrees Celsius. T final minus T initial tells me that I have a change in temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. I know my specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. I can calculate Q from this information of water. On my side of my metal, I'm asked to find my specific heat of my metal. I also do not know my Q of my metal. Therefore, I'm going to need to find it. What I do know is that my Q of my metal is equal to but opposite sign of my Q of my water. So my plan of attack is to calculate my Q of water given this information here. Then I'm going to plug into this equation that my Q of my water is equal to an opposite in sign to my Q of my metal. Then my next step, I'm going to solve for C using my equation Q equals MC delta T, rearranging it to solve for my specific heat of my metal. So let's set up. First I said I'm solving for my Q of my water. So Q of water is equal to MC delta T. My mass of my water was 15 grams. My specific heat of water is 4.18 joules gram degree Celsius and my change in temperature was 10 degrees Celsius. When I multiply it together, I get 627 joules is equal to Q of water. That was step one. Step two is that I know that my Q of my water is equal to, but opposite in sign to my Q of my metal. So therefore, since my water had a energy of 627 joules, that means my metal is going to have an energy of negative 627 joules. That means that I can go back to my other list of equations and I can put in this value for my Q of M. Which means now in step 3, I can calculate for Q of M because I know that that is equal to MC delta T, and I'm solving for my specific heat. 
So we're going to do that next. Now that I know my Q, my Q of my metal is negative 627 joules. I know my mass of my metal is 6.88 grams. I know my change in temperature of my metal is negative 50 degrees Celsius. And I'm solving for my specific heat. My equation is Q is equal to MC delta T. I want to rearrange it for C, so I get Q over M delta T is equal to C. So I go ahead and plug in negative 627 joules divided by my mass of 6.88 joules times my change in temperature of negative 50 degrees Celsius. My negative sign here cancels out with my negative sign here. Therefore, I get a specific heat of 1.82 joules gram degree Celsius. This is your final answer.